Hello, this is Jerry from Quilt Crazy. This video is to explain the use of the link function in Qbot V3 Pro. When to use it, when not to use it, how and why. Uh, first, the why. Uh, the link command in uh, V3 Pro Designer allows you to collect two or more designs into a single design. You can then save that connected design and use it like any other design in designer or in pattern quilting. There doesn't seem to be a limit of how many designs you can link together. Once the design is linked, it can be manipulated just like any other design. You can size it, rotate it, stretch it, etc. Although once linked and saved, you cannot unlink the individual elements or manipulate one portion of the element in the design. You can only unlink and change the link type until you save the new created design. One thing to keep in mind is the order you select the designs to link. The link command will connect the designs in the order that you selected them, regardless of how you place them on the screen. So select them in the order that they will be when completed. Select them from left to right. Then on the screen, you can move the designs to the proper place. If, for instance, you were to take and select designs one, two, and three, and then move the third design in between the first and second one, the link will still go from the first design to the second design, and you'll have a line going across the third design, and then from the second design back to the third design again. So it would really make it un unusable. There are three types of links, straight line, curved line, and automatic snap. You do not have to link designs in Qbot. If you do not, then Qbot will do a jump stitch. Uh, Qbot will pause after the first design so you can tie off. Then you select continue. The head will move to the start of the second design and will pause. It lets you time to pull the bobbin thread up. When you select go, the next design will be stitched and the process will start over again until completed. All right, we'll kick this off with uh, using the automatic snap link function. This is the easiest, fastest uh, of the three groups of functions. Um, one thing that is important with all of the link functions is the order in which you pick your elements is critical. You must pick them from the beginning on the left to the right. If you have more than two, you're going to want to pick the first one, the second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, whatever, in that order. Um, if you do not pick them in that order and you use the screen to rearrange them, the links are going to link from the first chosen design to the second chosen design to the third to the fourth, regardless of what order you put them on the screen. So think ahead, design, decide what order you want to have your, design, your elements in, and pick them in that order. So we'll start off with uh, three designs, two of which have the start and stop points on the same horizontal axis, and one of them that does not have on the same axis. The automatic link is going to line them up based on the start and stop points, uh, which you'll see in a moment. So we'll start with, uh, open up the designer. Uh, we'll mark our uh, quilting area. All right, so here's our quilting area. So we're done. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna pick three designs, two of which have the start and stops on the same horizontal line, one that does not have on the same line, and you'll see what happens. So we're gonna go here, we'll pick um, number one, number two, and Number three. All right, so we've got our three designs. Uh, we'll adjust them to the proper size. So 
and we'll move them. Now with the automatic link, you don't even have to be terribly good about lining them up because it's going to line it up by themselves. So here's our three designs. You notice that on the third design, the start and stop points are higher than they are on the other two designs. You can see there that uh, it's uh, an inch or so higher. So let's we'll kind of put these in haphazard order, although they must be in this in the straight order. What we're going to do is we're going to say done and we'll say automatic snap. Now, uh, it's going to have some ghosting. The blue is the part that's actually going to happen. So what we'll do now to, to if you save it, it's going to save just the the blue portion of this. It won't do that background black part. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tell it to quilt now so that the back part, the ghosting disappears. And we'll move it up there. Now you see the ghosting is gone and you can see what the design is going to look like. Now you notice that it moved them all together. The starting point and the end point uh, actually touching and now we only have one start and one stop point. You'll see because the third design, the start point and the end point were higher than the first two, it has shifted that third spot down so it's no longer in alignment. Um, this is why you want to make sure that the designs that you're selecting have the start and stop points on the same horizontal line. So let's uh, go back and do it again with three designs that are correct. Um, uh, back here, we'll go design. We'll again pick our area. Done. Now we'll pick three that have the spots in the same place. One, two, three. Select it. Uh, we're going to change the size to the uh, appropriate size. Um, I've already saved these with the size that I need, so we're going to bring it back to 100% of the saved size. And we'll move them. What's important is where the first one is, the one all the way on the left. Uh, this one is not going to move. Everything is going to be lined up based on that one. So you want the first element to be wherever you want it to start quilting at. And the other two, they got to be in order, but you don't have to be real crazy about getting them lined up because it's the snap is going to make it work anyway. So we got the three elements. Select done and select automatic snap and again we had that ghosting we had a minute ago so what we'll do now is uh, i'll move to the start spot so you can see that that ghosting has disappeared so you notice that the three if we had saved it it saves it exactly this way so the three have been snapped together the start and stop points are touching and we now only have one start and one stop point uh, if we had saved this we can bring it up in pattern quilting and it, this, in this case, is actually a chainable pattern. You could do this a couple of three times. In fact, we'll show you real quickly how you might do that. Uh, we're going to save um, in a row. Uh, we'll say done. We've got a pattern quilting. Um, pick it one, two, three, four, done, and uh, okay, so it's, I just kind of picked them real quickly, so we're going to save, and we're going to find that one we just saved uh, in a row, modify it, change it to 100%, and there you see, there's that design that we just uh, created and it is now linkable. So this is how you can make some of your own designs um, 
and this is how the auto link works. Um, it works great. Uh, it's fast. Um, but the designs must have the start and stop points on the same horizontal line. Otherwise, your, your elements are going to be shifted out of, off, of, uh, off a row. So that's how the automatic snap works. Uh, it's great, and it's the easiest of all of them to do.